people will lock you up for their comfort. There is nothing comfortable about constraints for the victim. It was comfortable for the village, but not for the victim. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying to you. Ah, watch out for people who want to tell you who you are. The better conversation is to ask me who I am. But when you, who don't even live in any part of the triunity of myself, try to tell me from the outside who I am, you have stepped on private territory. You cannot tell me who I am. You can tell me who you are, but you can't tell me who I am. They constrained him because that made them comfortable. I'm not denying the fact that the man had problems. I'm not denying the fact that he didn't have, that he had problems, but I also recognize that he had a promise. And when you are trapped between your problems and your promise, people want to move you out of the way because the lack of definity makes people uncomfortable. Can you think with me this morning? So we went from cemeteries to constraints, but every time they constrained him, he broke loose. Look back over your life at the many times people tried to constrain you and tell you how far you could go and what you could do. They were all wrong. No man can constrain you. Anytime any people oppress another people, the chain will eventually break. Because no man can chain what God has liberated. Every liberated soul in here holler.